Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How does a nuclear power plant meltdown? Imagine a powerhouse harnessing the atom's core energy. That's a nuclear power plant for you. These plants use nuclear fission to produce electricity. It's when atoms split and release energy. Lots of it. In the heart of the plant, the reactor core is where the magic happens. The core contains fuel rods, packed with uranium pellets. These rods are the stars of the show, folks. Now, control rods play the sidekick role. They absorb neutrons and control the fission rate. It's all about balance in this atomic performance. The heat generated from fission turns water into steam. This steam then spins turbines, which power generators. Voila, electricity is born. But what about safety, you ask? Well, cooling systems are the unsung heroes here. They keep the fuel rods from getting too hot. So, a meltdown? That's when things go off script. If the cooling fails, the fuel rods can overheat. We're talking extreme temperatures. The rods could even melt. Yikes! When they melt, they can breach the containment vessel. This is not your typical drama. It's a serious safety concern. A meltdown can release radioactive materials. This is a no-go for both people and the environment. But fear not. Safety measures and protocols aim to prevent such scenarios. Operators are trained for emergencies, and plants are built with multiple safeguards. Nuclear power plants are indeed engineering marvels. They illuminate our world. But like all great powers, they come with great responsibility. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.